Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 17.5 is finally here. After going through four beta stages and the RC version, now we finally have iOS 17.5 here and it comes with a few new features and changes. So in this video, we're taking a look at this update and I will show you guys 30 new features and changes that you will find on your device with the new iOS 17.5. First of all, there will be new wallpapers. If you go to your wallpapers to try to set a new wallpaper, if you just scroll down here, you will see under collections that you will have a few new pride wallpapers. So you can see they're like five or six different colors that you can add to your device. And what's really cool is that they have a pretty nice animation, which actually changes every time you lock and unlock your device. Moving on into the home screen, the podcast widget now has a new feature. Whenever you're playing a podcast, you will notice right there that the color of the widget will change. It changes based on the color of the podcast album art right there. So you can see right there we have blue and then we also have blue on the widget of the podcast app. And moving here to the weather widget. Now, if you go with the weather widget, the one that shows you the details, you will notice a few different changes here on the fonts mainly. Now, the right here, the weather, the forecast will be a bit smaller while we have also some adjustments here on wind and also UVI. A new feature that Apple has added to iOS 17.5, which I think is probably one of the main features, is the ability to set your iPhone on a repair mode as you probably know when you take your iphone for repairs to apple you will have to sign out on find my and that of course will require a lot of work but now what you can do is just tap to remove a device and then it will give you this pop-up cannot remove iphone prepare this device for repair you can just go ahead and continue here and it will go into a repair state where basically the iphone is fully functional but it goes into a repair state which you can do when you send your iphone to apple for any repairs now what apple has done with ios 17.5 is also a new universal rule link that they have added for eSIM. So basically when you're setting up your iPhone, you want to add an eSIM or even after you have set up your iPhone, maybe you want to add a second SIM, which will be an eSIM. Now you will have instead of a QR code, you will have a universal link, which actually makes things much, much easier. Another feature of that thing is probably on the top five of the features of iOS 17.5 is the ability to notify you whenever you're being tracked by a device. Now, this is a feature that you can already find on iOS. If we go under notifications here, you can see we have here the notifications that we have tracking notifications. Now, what these do prior to iOS 17.5 is that they will notify you if your iPhone detects an AirPod or maybe an AirTag coming with you that it's not on your account. Now, what Apple has done with iOS 17.5 is that they have made possible for your iPhone to also detect other devices that are not certified by Apple. So not just Apple devices, other tracking devices as well will actually be detected and your iPhone will notify you if it detects any other device moving with you. Now, what's really cool about this is that Apple has also added another feature which actually allows you to disable those devices. Again, even though those devices might not be from Apple or other devices from other companies, not Apple certified, you will still be able to disable those by of course using the Find My app. With 17.5, Apple has also updated some repair messages. So previously, when you had a battery that was not able to be determined by your iPhone, which is basically a third party part that you have on your iPhone, you would get a message that would say important battery message, unable to know if your iPhone's battery is genuine part from Apple. Now it has been updated and it says battery not recognized. The same will go for camera, camera net not recognized and display not recognized. And of course, each of them will have their own explanation. Now, one feature that I really love that Apple has added to FaceTime 
on iOS 17.5 is the ability to block all the participants on a group call at the same time. You don't have to do that one by one. All the people that are on a group on a FaceTime call, you can just go ahead and block all of them with one click. iOS 17.5 will add a ton of new features to the news app, especially if you use News Plus. Now, what you got here is a new game. If you go under the news app and you go to following right here and then go to puzzles, you will find a new quartiles game right here, which is really cool. You can now play it right here. But what you also have is integration with game center. So now all of your scores, not from the new game, but all the games right here can now be added to your game center, which is really awesome. Now you will also have a new setting for game center if you go under news so you go to settings news and they will have news plus puzzles and you will have game center if you want to send your results to the game center you can enable this and if you don't want to do that you can just go ahead and disable it the news app on ios 17.5 also has an improved offline mode you can see right there it says show stories we can just go ahead and show the stories that have been saved for the offline mode as well so you can see here everything all of this on the offline mode which is really awesome now also what you get here with news plus is a lot of different options for automatic downloads of course when it comes to to the offline mode you will have the ability to control your downloads here and as you can see if you go to settings under news you go to download options right here you will have a few different choices so you can individually enable or disable downloads for recent stories your saved stories magazines puzzles and audio stories right here all the settings you can choose whichever you want to download on your device for offline reading now what's really useful is this new option here optimize storage now if you use the offline mode for a news app you also need to use optimize storage especially if you have an iphone that's lower in capacity that means that this enabled will save a ton of space on your device what it does is that it does download smaller versions of images in stories and of course will save a ton of space and the last change here for news restrict stories in today now has been moved down here under a today's feed section and the last change here for the news plus app if you go under the following here and you go to save stories now when you go to clear here you can tap clear and it will basically clear everything it will be it will actually clear the saved here but it also does clear the title so you will have a clear space right here so it just clears everything not like previously when it it would still show the titles there and you had to remove them manually Moving on into the books app, we have a few changes here as well. First of all, when you open the books app right there at the top, you can see a new counter for your reading goals. Just right there at your profile picture, you will see the new counter. And when you go to change the finish date of one of your books, you will see here that we have a totally new date picker so right here you can just go ahead and pick any date you want you can switch between full date and year only tab done and you're good to go and if you have finished reading some books but you didn't set a finished date now right there under your library you will have date not set that's a section where all the books that you haven't set a date where you've finished reading them will be placed all right there in one group and the top picks on the main page of the books app have individual menus so you tap the three dots you will get individual menus here for each of the cards so right there you can see a few different options now what we have new here is also this right here improved suggestions now you can choose to tap on i've read this or don't show again so it doesn't show that topic again on your books app on the TV app on iOS 17.5, if you're watching an episode, you can now share the show directly from the episode where you're watching it. So I tap the share button right here. I don't have just the option to share this episode, but I can share the show as well. 
Moving on into the settings app, if you go to settings and go under privacy right here, scroll down, you will see that right here we have a section for passkey access for web browsers and now it has a new icon. Now this used to be here with 17.4 as well, but it didn't have an icon and now we have a new one. Moving on under accessibility here, if you go under accessibility and then from here, move to, to, sw to switch control, we can just go ahead and enable this and you will see that if we go here and go to switches, we will have a new button to ignore invalid switch setup. If you use this feature on your iPhone, you can now enable this setting. And we have some wording changes right here under the screen time settings. So what Apple did here is just move some things around. Now, first of all, on screen time set limits for calling and messages is now here instead of set limits based on contacts, which used to be prior to iOS 17.5. Also, content and privacy restriction. The description here it says manage content, apps and settings, and it used to be block inappropriate content. So these wording changes right here for limit communications and also content and privacy restrictions. Now there's a pretty cool feature on iOS 17.5, which now also allows people to download apps directly from devs websites. That of course, only available on EU, unfortunately, we won't be getting that feature. Also, there's a new mobile device, what is called MDM feature on iOS 17.5. So basically, these are solutions that are able to enforce a beta version during an automated device enrollment. Automated device enrollment is designed to simplify the initial device setup. So when you're setting up your device. And also for the iPads, if you have an iPad, and this will most likely be only for the newer iPads that Apple has just introduced. If you go to battery right here on the iPhone 15 series, you know that you get all these like information here regarding your battery. This should come to the new iPads as well. Probably most likely won't come to the older ones, just like Apple didn't release this feature for, for the older iPhones. Most likely they're doing the same for the iPad as well, but it's a pretty cool feature to have. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 30 new features and changes that you will find on iOS 17.5. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you on the next one.